Hi guys, Brooke here. I want to first say happy February. Can you believe it's already February? I personally can't, but it is pretty awesome that time is going by so fast. And obviously time is an illusion anyway, so it really doesn't matter, but here we are in February, and I'm excited actually that it's February because I'm doing a new series for my blog called Feminine February. For this month, I am going to take every step, you know, to celebrate and nurture and connect with my feminine energy. Growing up, I had a pretty masculine energy because my dad had no sons growing up and he wanted to be the sports dad, so he made us play a sport every year, which to be honest, I am super grateful for because I crushed that hard. So this month, I want to nurture that other half of me, that feminine half of me, that is full of love and compassion and nurturing and kindness and even in the face of conflict to still, you know, emote those qualities. When I used to be in the face of conflict, I would turn straight masculine and be very aggressive and yell and scream and just be harsh and sharp and jab at people and I don't want to do those things. So I am learning how to embrace my femininity, how to be more loving, unconditionally loving and how to stand in that power and recognize that I don't have to be submissive because I'm a woman. It's not that black and white. There is a very beautiful line right in the middle between feminine and masculine that I am seeking to straddle. So, I also vow, so, I also vowed this month to only wear skirts and dresses. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope I'll be able to take a photo every day of my outfit and ladies out there, it, give it a shot. I notice when I wear skirts and dresses, I just feel more feminine on my own. It's, it's a very interesting thing. And my whole goal this month is to nurture that femininity. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So stay up to date with my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed, my blog, and my social media channels. I'll be posting stuff there. I'll be posting hopefully daily videos and inspiration and motivation so that we can really get in touch with that feminine side and enjoy the beauty of what that means. And guys, I don't mean femininity is as in just women. Men, you can nurture that femininity too, especially in things like business where it's very typically masculine and it's very power struggly and, and sometimes really difficult to manage. Try to approach certain situations with kindness and love and understanding of the other person and compassion. And then maybe it'll make some business dealings a little easier. I don't know, but I have found that to be the case in my own life. So I think that's a good quality to bring into the workplace. And women, femininity does not mean weakness. Think about it. We give life. We grow life inside of our bodies. That is a very powerful thing. I mean, without us, I mean, without both of us, there would be nothing. We wouldn't even exist. So I think recognizing how amazing it is that we can give life, that's power. And we also nurture the child in our bodies for nine months. That is incredibly feminine and loving and kind and just this amazing process. So I've never had kids, but I want to and I will and I know that. So let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate our feminine bodies and our beauty and everything we've got to offer as women and just as feminine beings in general. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.